Um, yeah. And um, then we that, see. Go ahead. Uh, what were you gonna say? Go ahead. No. I was... Episode five. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, this is by far my favorite episode. Um, yeah, this is a very powerful episode. This yeah. is definitely a turning point. Like in the last one, when Joe dies, you're like, what's this show? It seems like um, just really bad things are going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't seem like it's going to have a good ending. But then this episode kind of like solidifies like, yeah, no, everything's just going to get really a lot worse for mm-hmm. everyone. Yeah. Uh, so we just uh, we see uh, you know more great writing, more great conversation, um, and we we see Riley like coming to terms with the fact that he's been turned into a vampire. Obviously, he doesn't know vampire, but we do. Um, and while Pruitt's trying to uh, teach him, he's like holding him by the shoulder and like Beverly does like this thing and you see him like jump at her. And I was like, if there was one slip, like even if his shirt was like baggy enough to roll over, like he could have got her and it would have been great. But I loved seeing how pissed Beverly was and how jealous she was that he got turned completely by accident he's just wrong place wrong time yeah he should have been cuddling up to aaron and having a good night but instead he accidentally got munched on but she doesn't know that so she's jealous of him and i loved every second of it it made me so happy to see her like try to hold back her jealousy and just have to deal with it um and then we also see the reverend's like explosive anger that kind of seemingly comes out of nowhere almost. Um, and we see that it almost feels like Pruitt is getting annoyed by Beverly because she's like, how about we do this? We should do this. And he's like, just shut up and go away. Yeah, pipe like, down, bitch. Yeah, 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 ex- yeah exactly. Um, yeah. We also kind of see um, how much of like, she seems like, you know, ride or die, Mm -hmm. you know, for, for the priest at first, like she's like his right hand all about helping him, Mm -hmm. even though like, what the fuck is even like, no, anyone in their right mind, but this bitch is crazy. But then we Mm -hmm. see like when she walks into the church and he's like, Beverly, come here. And she's like, we see like fear like she doesn't she's actually afraid of what the fuck is happening even Mm. though she's been helping the father the whole fucking time so we start to see like okay like this bitch is not about it at all she's a fucking fraud she's a poser ass bitch essentially (laughs) fucking hater so yeah um and this and and so beverly really points out and so does and so does Pruitt, especially when he's explaining to Riley what has taken place and what's going to happen next for Riley. This really drives home the point, and it's one of the most annoying things about this religion, that Christians will find any way, any leg to stand on when something terrible happens. They always try to make it like, well, that's what it says in Palms fucking derpeder. Like, no, you just turned a dude into a vampire. You killed him. You killed the other guy. Well, God says that, you know, there will be sacrifices and no, like, no, that's you murdered. That's, that's one of your sins. Right. So like, yeah but they always manipulate everything to be okay as long as they're the ones doing it if riley would have just randomly bit up beverly for no reason they would have all hung him but because it was the other way around it's okay they're finding justification for it and i it oh it's so annoying it's so annoying yeah i definitely wrote that down in my notes for this episode too because like you can literally 
spin anything like you can turn the fucking bible into a case for like vampires are actually okay Mm -hmm. and you know they're part of our religion now Mm -hmm. they're here to do god's work Mm -hmm. and it's just like that doesn't make any fucking sense it's just like you just like how ludicrous it actually fucking is especially like modern day (gasps) that's crazy it's crazy and then they're talking about like fucking communion for riley when he what he really means is go out and kill somebody you have Mm -hmm. to go out and feed on somebody now and that's your communion Mm -hmm. what yeah i i also like that riley makes it a point to be like did you feed on me too Mm -hmm. if we're being honest with each other did you feed on me too and he's like yeah yeah i had a sip like I would have just gotten up and walked away right then if, yeah. it, was, if it wasn't daytime but yeah you know. oh god that must have been like the worst like eight hours of his life just waiting to be like back well I mean I feel like they kept him in there for days to like kind of be like all right and this is what's gonna happen now like to, I don't know train groom him I guess it's yeah better. it felt like a full day yeah Oh, just like waking up and like knowing that that's what happened to you and then you just kind of have to sit there and like stew in that and just mm-hmm. be like all right cool yeah because your other choice is death yeah it's like thanks guys uh all right now i'm just in a, stuck in a room with two people that i really fucking hate mm-hmm. tight, tight 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 yeah cool 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 I have food all over this piece of paper. But yeah, that's all I really had written down for this one. Um, yeah. What do you got? Um, it seems like because he gets let out of the church mm-hmm. and Beverly is like, what the fuck are you doing? But I don't know. Father Paul is just like so or Pruitt, whatever. He's like so like he's like really got some hubris going on there where he's just like, no, let him go. Mm-hmm. this is this is what god wants yeah it was no it was no mistake it was faith god brought him here we're gonna let him out he's meant to do god's work like i he's been prepared for this and he he goes straight to aaron what were you gonna mm-hmm. say mm. oh he just he goes straight to aaron and it's like fuck so it just really 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 seems like aaron's going to be next <laughs> mm-hmm and yeah you have anything to say about that well it was just <laughs> your country <laughs> fell out of your face right then you got anything to say about that um so uh, yeah uh, to that point uh he does he, when he lets him go i i think he knows what riley's going to do he doesn't know how he's going to do it or whatever but i think he knows obviously one he's going to go right to aaron and two he's not going to be okay with it so he's going to find a way to off himself um Beverly is the one that's like hesitant and I think he's like whatever's going to happen is going to happen so I'm not going to stress about it I don't think he's going to be in the next episode so just let him go Um, (laughs) yeah he's written out of this next episode yeah yeah didn't you read the script bitch um (laughs) but, but like yeah he's just very nonchalant just like yeah man just yeah go figure life out like take a walk you've been in this room for eight hours listening to me tell you how awesome everything is and to be fair 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 when they show his eyesight Mm -hmm. it looks fucking awesome yeah i would i would take some vampirism i would i would microdose so i could get those visuals because the stars looked yeah. And I fucking love stargazing. So he had like the best view. And I yeah. was just so jealous of it. It was like tripping. Like yeah. he talked about DMT. So you know he's loving that. He's an alcoholic ass. Like, yeah. But I guess not so much because he knows that what happened to him is fucking really bad. Yeah, the whole neck thing probably was like, well, the visuals are cool, but not worth it, you know? Yeah, I, I just got, like, neck raped, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Just gonna say, we see him, like, take her out on the boat. Yeah. And then they yeah. have another amazing conversation. I know! They have such good fucking dialogue. Mm-hmm. 
And honestly, when he took her out on the boat, I was like, she's going to die. Like something weird's going to happen. Like the first time I watched it anyways, because like mm -hmm. I just had forgotten about all of his dreams mm -hmm. that he'd been having. Um, so I was like, he's about to kill this bitch. Like I was stressing because I didn't know what the fuck was going to happen. It just kept it like getting worse and worse through like consistently. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they're talking and the way he dies is just like really beautiful at mm -hmm. the sunrise. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I, uh, I, I like the fact that when he tells this story, it does lead you to believe that he's going to either turn her or kill her. But then she immediately goes, okay, well, Riley, I don't fear you. I don't think you brought me out here so that I couldn't go anywhere. And then he's like, no, you're wrong. I brought you out here so I can't go anywhere. Oh, the and I was like, oh, you motherfucker. Like, I have to like you now. Like, I have to, and I don't want to because you're just a write-off character for some fucking reason. And, yeah. and like, now I really, really like you. Um, yeah. But we see, you know, and I was watching this episode at work and, like, my the kitchen at my work is there's only like there's a big open window and mm -hmm. like giant open window and these people are right on the other side of it they're all like it's the common like hangout area where they all hang out all day so like they're all right there and i forgot i forgot what happens so or i didn't forget what happens i knew he like burnt up but like you see his you see his version of it for him mm -hmm. and you know he burns up and he's just you don't know that he burned up but like the sun comes up and boom he's there the girl's there she takes his hand and you know you're like oh that's awesome and then yeah. the insistent blood curdling screaming that was loud as fuck and also for the first time thank you netflix for not just skipping to the next episode like mm -hmm. you do in three seconds on any other computer it just goes through the entire credit scene of her crying and shit and yeah. i'm i'm sitting there and all these old people are staring at me and i'm like Ah, fuck it, I'm just going to ignore it. They're not going to remember this tomorrow anyways. And just like kept cutting and just like, fuck it. But yeah, I, it was really, really, it was, I was like, wow, that is a valiant death, number one, like good job. And then also her reaction to it, because she doesn't buy any of that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And by the time he finishes his sentence, he's fucking gone and there's no hold on get underwater like there's no like oh no i believe you like you know what i mean there's no yeah. like, chance to fix it yeah because you now you believe he's just gone no saving him yeah like, i love you aaron i did my best yeah. uh, mm -hmm. uh, i was like wow and when he said i love you uh i've always loved you in one way or another i was like damn dude I totally get that. Yeah. Like, oh, God. Right in the feels, man. Right in the feels. Yeah. yeah. Part of me, I was like, okay, so he's burning up now. Like, what the fuck's going to happen to the boat? Like, is the boat going to catch on fire? Yeah. But I guess it just happened so fast, like spontaneous. Combustion yeah. That, like, you know, like the, like Pruitt said, he was like, remember you were dust and to dust you shall return. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah that was uh it was really good and i didn't even think about that but yeah he really did turn back into dust yeah it was good because the stars he talks about it in um the episode where they're talking about death and he's like the stars are you know the dust and the star stardust something like that i don't know mm -hmm. or maybe aaron talks about it in the last one but yeah she talks about it in the last one it's just like oh yeah 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 that was really good and it did like even though you know even though after he goes i brought you out here so that i can't go anywhere you know what's coming yeah but i've never seen the sun rise that fucking fast 
and I've never seen a vampire turn to dust that fast. But like it, it's still you still want for some reason you still want like him to not. You want yeah, him he's like, the main character, like yeah, yeah. You well, I think Aaron ends up being the main character, but for sure. actually, or John, but um, yeah, you still want him to like take a dive into the water and hide under the boat until they can figure something else out. You know what I yeah. mean? Like you still want there to be more, especially because you want them to be more. Like you want yeah. more of them because it seems so. It seems like genuine love like it seems like really there um but yeah anyways i'll shut up episode six no you're fine um why you gotta do that (laughs) was i saying yeah too much (laughs) now i'm like second guess i'm gonna be like absolutely (laughs) um yeah no that was just really sad and it just it's it threw me off his death because like the show starts out with him. So you think he's like going to be the main. And then it's just very, like, he's just discarded very quickly. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah. The first time I watched the show, I was really mad that they forced me to carry a, care about him just for him to die. And then the second time I watched it, I realized like how important that was to the show. Yeah. It, it was like prophetic yeah yeah it was yeah it wasn't like i had it all wrong the first time like Mm -hmm. the first time i was like you made me care about this motherfucker that i didn't like just to do this and then the second time like i really i was like oh that really meant something Mm -hmm. and it also kind of like shows that in the end death is what you're going to make of it so that's why he gets peace he gets forgiven he gets you know uh, yeah he gets to be with his old chick again basically yeah yeah i just and it was interesting because aaron was saying like you know i'm gonna see this person or that and then mm-hmm. he's like having the dmt trip and it's like boom he sees her it's mm-hmm. just interesting yeah episode six <laughs> yeah 